what's up, Matt? Hell big happy Friday. Hey, Matthew Smith. How about you take a picture because it would last longer. Do you hear that? That's, uh, I hear crickets. <laughs> hey, we're talking about moment emails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair play. I'll keep my day job. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to thank Email Monks for sponsoring this episode. Need help in creating really good email templates for your campaigns? Discover how Email Monks can make that happen in a snap. They are experts at designing and coding email templates at a great price. If you want to level up your email game, give Email Monks a try. I love Moment. I don't know if you, it sounds like you got a lens and, and I've had a lens. It's just neat to see this craftsmanship and this email. I think you're the one who picked this one out. Tell me a little bit about what you're loving, man. Uh, yeah, I really like their use of GIFs in their emails. They choose email to do a lot of their messaging. I think they do a really Really good job of switching up the layout of some traditional email design and mm. showing content using good colors, GIFs within their emails. I think a lot of their emails are mostly all images. So I think mm. the load mm. size can be um, a little bit tricky, but I think there's a lot of design pieces in this that work really well for email. And I think they kind of know their audience, um, especially on mobile. I think a lot of their emails are pretty somewhat optimized. So mm. I think for some brands that have to use images and custom fonts and interesting layouts, I'm um, can't really escape from the all image emails if there's some points in these moment emails that are really good. I think you actually nailed it. You know, there's just some really nice work being done here. So, you know, a lot of people are trying some of these grid flexible designs. These grid flexible designs are pretty interesting. You know, it's a neat way of keeping these emails from feeling like they're just a bunch of like rectangles flowing into each other. And I love this GIF being text that's animating in over. It really calls attention to it. So it's a simple way to do a GIF, but I think it's very effective. Man, the photography is beautiful, which you would expect for a brand like Moment. I'm able to scroll, get to see really clear CTAs, just bright red, bam, nothing missing that, right? Mm -hmm. Really simple text. Uh, one of the things I love about this email is there's just so few different like type styles for me to grok and like start to understand understand and try and like figure out what they mean and so on and so forth. I can just be, you know, really clean and clear with it and be done. You know, I like this use of the red. It's clearly not a CTA, even though they're using CTA color. So that's okay. That works. Just this nice layout of letting it overlap over the side. There's a metaphor that works through this design and the metaphor is looseness, you know, and like breaking this grid. Mm -hmm. Even though you'll notice in something like this, I'm guessing, I'm going to scroll up here, notice that they more or less well, it's not perfect. This line right here is the same line as this. So basically that same line there is what you see up top as well. They've probably chosen some grid lines to obey. You know, it's just a nice flowing email, right? So up here, your eye is going from left, down, right, now left, now right, now left. It creates more of like an energetic flow. And that's a nice effect as you're reading something like this. And you can see over here from the mobile view that the text is big enough where it works. Mm -hmm. I'm able to read it. I don't need to squint. I don't need to zoom. It's working. If I have a problem with this email, it's the one that I'm always ranting about. It's all images. And it is definitely possible to do this email without images. It does take a little bit of extra time. But if it's your brand, go ahead and create some modules and you can make it work. And it can be a design system. It's definitely doable. Figuring out that layout is just really important in trying to move away from images. We're hindering the advancement of email when we do this. And I get it. It's hard to accomplish. It takes more resources, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Figure out what you can sort of pull back on so that you can go forward on that part. Rant mm -hmm. over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this one would be on the more advanced side when it comes to utilizing some of those custom fonts within the email. Keep scrolling down. I want to see like that footer. I think they do some fun stuff, especially with some of the text overlay. Yeah, I like this, this kind of text over image piece as well. Yeah, that mobile optimized footer is kind of nice. I like that CTA, only two spots left. Like it's very like um, actionable. That is. That's pretty cool. And I bet that changes uh, or at least... Be there's cool. a possibility <laughs> that it can change. A little name drop for our friends, Nifty Images. They're freaking amazing at that. You can pull from their API and you can update based on the database right into an image. Now, yeah. having said that, images are helpful. I'm you know, stepping back to my last <laughs> rant. This could easily be a background image with text over it. It's, yeah. 
not that difficult. I do think there's some nice mobile optimization happening over here. I like that. Yeah, good call to look at that. Love this email, man. Good, good fit. Oh, and briefly, I think we've got this other one from them, right? You know, another pretty interesting way of like breaking the grid. You can see these are on different grids, left aligned differently. Man, mm -hmm. just beautiful. They decide to center here, which I like. And then instead of centering the button, which you mostly see, they go centered. Oh, no, my bad. That's not centered. It looked at at first, but it's actually right aligned. Yeah. So right aligned, which That's doesn't always we, work. Yeah. But it's, it's something that we don't really see in email a lot either. So mm -hmm. interesting. I, and I uh, thing to note would be it works when you have nice big text like this. It would not work if you had you know smaller text and and a lot of body copy. Lots of fun photography. A nice way of balancing this email too is that they have this gray background and then contained within this inner container here, which I really like. Also note that I think they're changing their CTA color, but they're using like a really consistent aesthetic, so it works. You know, it makes makes sense. Great photography is really fantastic. Mm -hmm. And again, too, even though this is all images, I think they're images and that the copy is large enough so that it really right. works on mobile first and the desktop maybe feels a little bigger, but it doesn't feel like too big right. to read. So I think it's a nice balance between the two. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. If you're going to do images, because that's what you have to do at this moment in your company, then definitely make sure that you're, um, you're using text that's large enough to be viewed in mobile. I've seen examples of rearranging images like sometimes you can do a grid of images and they can rearrange in a responsive way so that you end up having larger text yeah i mean overall i just think these are fantastic emails thanks for bringing them to the table dude yeah i always look forward to getting these moment emails it's like a little shot of visual dopamine every time you get to open them because you see all this amazing photography and interesting layouts well dude uh have yourself a solid weekend you got anything fun going on i'm gonna take a bunch of pictures with my moment lens me personally, I just got my Canon EOS R and a new Ooh. 35 millimeter prime. I am super psyched about a 2.0. We're gonna have some fun with that camera. We might have to plug your Instagram because you do some good stuff. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to check out Whale on Instagram, just the name, the animal, that's it. <laughs> then uh, yeah, feel free to check it out. It'd be fun. And uh, don't forget to check out unspam.reallygoodemails.com, the uh, email conference that we are launching and, and having. It's an event. It's a conference it's a non-france it's nonsense <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun i know that hell yeah all right well we'll see you out there see ya bye bye if you have any feedback on the series please leave a comment down below hit subscribe to keep up with future episodes thank you for giving a listen and letting our sponsors know you love really good emails